Hey everybody, Melissa here, The Unlikely Hiker. So I've got a little unboxing video here. As you can see, this is the brand new Nemo Tensar Extreme sleeping pad. I was able to get uh, early access to this item. So I picked it up and I really wanted to give it a try and see what I thought. I've seen the couple videos that are out there, which sounds like maybe it sleeps a little colder than uh, we were kind of hoping for a winter pad. I did sell recently my Thermarest X-Therm, so I am in need of a winter pad. And I thought given the price, the deal that I was able to get on this, that I would kind of get it and start testing it out immediately. Obviously tonight I'm in a hotel room uh, outside of Boston, so I will not be using this tonight. But I do have a trip next week and I do plan on using it next week. The temperatures unfortunately will not be very cold, but I will absolutely have ample uh, time to test this out this winter in some very cold conditions for sure. Let's kind of take a look at some of the specs on it. So this particular one is the regular wide. So 72 inches and 25 inches wide, the rectangular. And this comes in at 20 ounces, which I really kind of wish it was a little bit lighter, but I think it weighs about the same as what my X-Therm did. It's three and a half inches thick. And let's see, it says it has an R value of 8.5. Again, the jury definitely is still out on that, but I thought I would give it a try because for me, it was actually pretty affordable. This does come in several sizes. It comes in a regular mummy size, regular 20 inch wide, regular wide, which is this one, and a long wide. So you definitely have some options out there for the sizes. And it comes with a stuff sack, a repair kit, and the Vortex pump sack. So let's go ahead and open this and blow it up and see what we think. So right out of the bag, this is almost the exact same size as a Nalgene bottle. Let's open it up and take a look and blow it up. It also comes with the Velcro strap if you have an older tensor, came with that also. This must be the pump sack. That is enormous. Look at that. That's huge. All right, there it is all blown up. I've used pump sacks in the past and I'm not a fan of the kind that has this narrow neck. I prefer the kind that open wide, um, but mostly I prefer my little flex tail pump. Um, it, it works okay, but as it got a little full, it actually popped the, um, the valve to deflate it open. So if you do use the Vortex pump sack, keep that in mind. I also kind of had it a little upside down just because of the camera angle, but easy fix, not a big deal. This is not really something I would be carrying with me most likely. Anyway, so it is completely filled up and hopefully you can see the black side is the side that you sleep on and the green is the one that goes to the ground. So really, this is just a first impression and unboxing of this, obviously. The material is pretty soft. It feels a little bit different than the old material. So just for accuracy purposes, I'm just gonna read some of the specs off my computer. So it has an apex baffle design, which suspends more insulation. Metalized film. Okay, yeah, it's mylar. Three and a half inches. It says here, impressively quiet. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Vortex pump sack, blue sign approved, premium nylon fabrics, shade grams while offering superior puncture and tear resistance. Improved zero profile, multifunctional, micro adjustable, lay low valve. Offers customized inflation, even at negative 20 and below. We can talk about that for a second. Any sleeping pad for winter is gonna offer maximum warmth when it's fully inflated. So even if it's a little less comfortable to have it fully inflated in the winter, you, you really should just don't take a lot of air out of it. It's just not gonna work as good, unfortunately. It is protected by the Nemo Lifetime Warranty. 
So the pad claims to basically outperform other people in its category. I feel like the jury is definitely out on that and I'll, I will absolutely let you know. I was very happy with my um, Thermarest X-Therm. I use that in the winter uh, combined with a closed cell foam pad down to negative 20 and I was very comfortable. So we'll see if, if this one does quite as good. Um, you know, they've got some good claims here. I think they've definitely made some upgrades on this pad. It is, it feels very soft. It's like when you feel it, you can feel the insulation inside. So it, it's very cushiony. I'm gonna throw it on the ground in a second and lay on it and tell you how I feel. It is pretty quiet, that's for sure. I mean, it feels like my other Nemo pad. I tend to be a side sleeper. It's comfortable. Laying on it, I can immediately feel the heat coming back, but I'm not exactly in a cold room either. Okay, so it is comfortable. It is quiet. It does have this micro adjusting valve here. So you can just let tiny amounts of air out. It's a sleeping pad. The new Nemo Tensor Extreme Condition. I'm definitely excited to try this out and see how it works. First impression, it's nice. It is super quiet. It might actually even be quieter than my big Agnes pad. It feels very comfortable. I, I don't really have much else to say on it because I haven't used it. I will absolutely be doing some winter camping and hiking this year, and I really did need something to use. I plan on pairing this with a closed cell foam pad most of the time when I'm doing my hiking and camping just because it does get so brutally cold where I live. Uh, I don't take any chances, but I definitely will be testing this out first without a closed cell foam pad under it. I guess what I could gather from other people saying that it slept a little cold was perhaps as pads get thicker, that cold air is coming in through the side. And thinking about that, I think that that's definitely a real possibility. First impression on the Tensor Extreme Condition, it appears like a good pad, but the purpose of it is to keep you warm in the winter, and I cannot test that out for you yet, but I absolutely will in the next few months, because we will be getting temperatures hovering right around freezing, and as soon as we get down that cold, I absolutely will take this out and use it and let you know. Thanks for watching this really quick, unexpected video, but I ordered this last week and I got it in and I wanted to take it out and check it out. I was so excited. Thanks for watching. You guys take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.